I'm Matt from Motorsport Electronics, and in today's video, we're going to be covering the start to finish install of our ME221 plug and play engine management system on a completely stock Mark 1 MX5. So we're going to be carrying out this installation of the ME221 on a completely standard Mark 1 1.6 MX-5. The only thing different about this car is the alloy wheels, otherwise it is bone standard, straight out of the factory with quite a few miles on the clock. Before we get started with the actual ECU fitting and mapping, we're going to do a baseline run on our Dynodynamics rolling road here to see what power we're starting from. So we're making about 98 horsepower. You can see here from the graph how the torque is fairly consistent, but at about 5,500 it starts to fall away quite quickly. And if we have a look at the air-fuel ratio, we'll see why. So the stock ECU, to begin with, at the lower RPMs, indeed runs the engine at about 14.7 to 1 AFR, which is fine. But as we get above 5,000 RPM, it really starts to throw the fuel in. The stock ECU generally, you see sort of 12 to 1, 11 to 1 AFRs at the top end, which really hampers the torque and the power output of the engine. So one of the first steps of installing the ME221 ECU is to run a manifold pressure line from the plenum here, round the back of the engine, down through the bulkhead. There is a grommet there already to where the ECU is going to be sitting. What we're going to do now is get to the factory ECU. It's located in the passenger footwell. To gain access to it, you've got this kick plate on the seal here, which is held in by four Phillips screws. You also have to pull the rubber back and pop off this kick plate down here, which just pops out. And then it's just a simple case of pulling the carpet back to expose the ECU cover plate here in the passenger footwell. Held on with four M10 uh, nuts, undo those, we can remove this cover plate and then get access to the ECU. And just pull it out like that. And now we can see we have the ECU exposed here. Okay, now we've got the ECU out, we're going to head to the office and install the new ME221 in its place. Okay, so we've been out to the car and we've removed the factory ECU. And we have here our ME221. So, on the ECU, this is for the 8995 variant. We have the four screws on the top here and we're going to remove those to expose the factory ECU. Okay, and then inside we have these retention screws in here, six of those to be removed. Okay, so what we do now is we remove the ECU, the internal core, the factory ECU, place that to one side, and we can flip the ECU over and remove the top cover as well. Okay, and with the top cover removed, we're left with the ECU chassis itself. And what we need to do now is drop the new PCB into position, and you'll see it lines up with the factory screws. And we can have a look now where the MAP sensor is. The MAP sensor is over here, and we need to run a manifold pressure line to the engine. And so, of course, we need to drill a hole, a 10 mil hole, in the end of this chassis here. We can now go ahead and reassemble the ECU. So we take the new ME221 core and place it on here, and you will see that it lines up with the standard fitting screws. We can, of course, install the top cover and the base maps will generally just plug in and work. However, what we need to do is go back out to the car, install the ECU and run the manifold pressure pipe through the hole that we've made and link it to the map sensor. After that, of course, we can still plug in our communications cable so we can tune the ECU or if we're going to be taking the car to a rolling road to be tuned, we can then refit the top cover. But we'll do that on the car. Now, of course, this car has a factory MAF sensor fitted, and in the interest of OEMness, we're going to leave this in place. However, the ECU, of course, will run without this fitted. So we can remove this, and if you're going to turbocharge or supercharge the car, that's exactly what you would do. So now we're going to go ahead and take the manifold pressure pipe that we ran from the inlet manifold and pass it through the hole we've just drilled on the ECU. After passing it through, it's simply a case of connecting it to the manifold pressure sensor and affixing a cable tie to keep it in place. So now the ECU is installed in the car, we're going to go ahead and give it a run and see how our base map performs compared to the factory ECU.
Okay, so as we can see, we've had that four horsepower gain here. And remember, this is just with the factory supplied base map that we give. There's been no tuning on this ECU as yet. Uh, more torque along the bottom end. And yeah, and a bit more power at the top. So this car will drive as well, if not better than it did before. And as I say, we haven't even started tuning this engine. So there we have the basic start to finish hardware installation of an ME221 ECU. Join us next time. We'll be covering further steps, including loading on a base map and tuning. Thanks.